Hey guys, so today I'll be doing a repro versus non-repro Bredu products thing and I thought many of you guys will enjoy this because it's really hard to tell for many people um, if it's real Bredu or not. I'm not just going to explain the Bredu donuts but also other Bredu products as well. Starting off with the Bredu donut, this is the original Bredu donut. Usually the original Bredu donuts come in a box packaging but they also come in this type of packaging, which has these spikes on it. If you look at the drizzle on the Repro Donut, you can see that it's kind of black and flat. But if you look at the non-repro version, it has kind of like a light brown color and it's more 3D. It's a lot more skinnier and it pops up more than the Repro version. If you look at the back of the donuts, usually the Repro version is a lot more um, better colored. And the non-repro version is always just one plain dark color. So other people say that licensing is a lot more noticeable on the non-repro, but that's not true. Um, this one doesn't have licensing, but I do have another better donut that does have licensing. And it's just as noticeable as the non-repro version. So these are the squishy differences on the non-repro version. So the non-repro gets defected quite easily, the repros don't. I forgot to tell you that the Reaper Donuts are really hard to squish, but slow rising. These are super soft, like you could just squish it like a marshmallow. Okay, so these Breader Donuts are the one that comes in the stripe packaging. And this one is a lot softer than the one that came in my box. I think this is kind of like um, a new version of the non repro Donut because they're still producing the non repro Donuts. It's just that they don't produce in the US. If you see the color, you can see that it's not as dark as this, and, and if I squish it, they're both really squishy. This one, I got it from a company that um, gets their products from the actual Bredu company, and um, it was new in packaging, and they still produce it these days, so I know this is non-repro, but um, this is just a lot different from the ones they produced back then. The color is very different. This one is super duper soft to squish. This one is hard to squish, but they're both equally squishy. Now onto the packaging. So this is the non-repro, this is the repro. This one also came with the wax paper. So everybody thinks as long as it comes with the wax paper, it's the real one. That is not true. The sticker is the same. They both have sprinkles. The only difference in packaging is, is that one has spikes and one does not. Also, it's hard to tell, but this packaging is a lot like lighter, like light brown. This is more of a dark brown. Now onto the roti toast slices, and this may surprise you, but they actually did reproduce the roti toast slices. I never knew that. Uh, my repros will always be on this side, this right side. So here's my repro. It's not very squishy. And let me show you my non-repro. I don't know if you can see that, but that's really squishy. They not only just reproduce the roti toast slices, but also the actual roti toast loaf. And the roti toast loaf, the non-repro version, is super squishy. Next are the Goody Murphys, and let me just tell you that these are the newly produced non-repro Goody Murphys because they're still producing them, it's just that some of them from back then are a lot more different. So these are a lot more softer than the ones they produced back then, and the color is different as well. They're not as like dark, and these are a lot more softer and the same squishiness as the other non-repros. I do not have a repro Goody Murphy to compare to, so I'll just explain how you can tell if it's not repro or not. Real Goody Murphy does not have sprinkles on the sticker. If you see the reproduced Goody Murphys, they do have sprinkles on the sticker. The original has the little spikes on it. The non repro does not. It's These Goody Murphys also come in a box too, but I got the version that does not come in a box. So obviously, the originals are very squishy. But they get defected really fast. You can see the ears are already cracking and I didn't even squish it too much.
So this is it for my repro versus non-repro Bredu squishies. And I really hope it helped you guys out if you were planning to buy a Bredu squishy and you weren't sure if it was real or not. If you guys enjoyed, please like, comment, subscribe. Bye!